You're very welcome here to Park Your Inn for this final of the Division 2 hurling final between Coatsford wearing maroon and white on my right and Balnes Bittle wearing the red and white hooped jersey. Great game in prospect and starting with the Coatsford team. In goal, number one, Richard Crowley. Number three is Owen Kennedy. Number four is Padraig Harrington. Number five is Tony O'Flynn. Number six is Kenneth Hogan. Number seven is Edmund Roach. Number eight is Findar O'Sullivan. Number ten is Patrick Finnegan. Number twelve is Kevin Kennedy. Number 11 is Rory McSweeney. Number 13 is Dylan Murphy. 14 is Matt Finnegan. 15, David Hayes. 16, Mark O'Connell. 17, Ray Lynch. 18, Damien O'Sullivan. 19 is Emmett O'Reavig. 20 is Jack Freely. 21, Hugh McSweeney. 22, Trevor O'Reardon. 23, Anthony Sheehan. 24 is Shane Manning. 25, Sean Dennehy. 26, Shane Ring. 27, William Barrett. 28, Joseph Maxwiney. 29, Greg Murphy. 30 is Anthony O'Reardon. 31 is Christopher Edwards. 32 is Daniel O'Manley. 33 is Patrick Sheehan. And 34 is Finbar Crowley. Also, we missed there number two, Edward Crowley. Edward should be playing, but he is appendix out last week. So now we go to Balnes Bittle. Number one, Ronan O'Driscoll. Number two is Geroid McCarthy. Three is Daniel Murphy. Four is David O'Driscoll. Five is Daniel Nyan. Six is Barry Hayes. Seven is Oino Mani. Eight is David Hart. Nine is Oshin Gately. 10 is Job Hipwell, the captain. 11 is Billy O'Day. 12 is Kevin Quinn. 13, Gavin Maloney. 14 is Connor Hart. 15, Darren O'Day. 16, Shane Maloney. 17, David Butler. 18, Robert Byers. 19, Oino Donovan. 20 is Mark O'Leary. 21 is Neil Shaw. 22 is Barry Kelly, 23 is Richard Burton, 24 is Mark O'Mahony and 25 is Jonathan Quinn. And there we see the coach for team lining up and there we see Edward with number two in his back. Bit of a disappointment but I'm sure he'll be shouting on the coach for the lads as good as any other supporter on the field. And the referee for today's game is Jar Harrington from Caligaline. We're almost ready for the start of this Division 2 hurling final. Midfield, Oino Manny and David Hart for Balnes Fiddle. And midfield for Coachford, Finn Barrow Sullivan, Rory McSwiney. Referee Jar Harrington just checking with the umpires. Coachford playing from right to left. The ball is in and the game is on. Bit of a stalemate developing. Rory McSwiney trying to get the ball out. Finn Barrow Sullivan. There's a, sort of a late pull there, I think, on Finn Barr, And that will be a free for Coachford. Bit of a discussion among the players. Edmund Roach going up, discussing with Tony O'Flynn, I think. Yes, Edmund Roach, number seven there, trying to get the ball down. Middle of the field, striking the ball. It's a lovely high dropping ball in towards the square. The ball breaks inside, trying to be got out. Got out there by is that Gerard McCarthy, trying to bring it out there with a the white helmet for, for Coachford. Ball in Patrick Finnegan's hand, I think, for Coachford. Patrick turns, shoots, 
drops right across the goal, goes to the right hand side of the upright, the ball goes wide. Early chance for Coachford, but unfortunately for Patrick and unfortunately for Coachford, the ball just drifted wide. Galloyd McCarthy with the puck out here for Ballinaspittle. Drives a mighty one out the middle of the field. Down the middle it goes. Back goes the ball. Patrick Hanley gets a hurley on it. Going over there, Gavin Maloney and Kevin Quinn. And here come, and that's a foul on the Ballinaspittle. Is that Gavin Maloney going in there? Yes, I think that was Gavin. And it'll be a free in for Ballinaspittle. A free in for Ballinaspittle. John Hipwell, it looks like, to take the free. Bending, lifting, striking, but the ball, just like Patrick Finnegan's, goes to the left-hand side of the upright and goes wide. Ball going wide. Not John Hipwell, rather, sorry, there. Over on this side, it was Billy O'Day and uh, Oshin Gately. Ball out to the middle of the field. Bit of a stalemate decision developing. Finn Darrell Sullivan striking the ball well up the wing. Patrick Finnegan getting the ball into his hand. Quite a bit of a solo run. He's gone right through. Coming across there was Daniel Knight to try and stop him. Patrick shoots the and he sticks him over the bar. The first goal of the game after about two minutes of play for Coachford. Scored by Patrick Finnegan. A good ball won by Finn Barrow Sullivan in the middle of the field. And he struck it over the bar. Finn Barrow being marked there by David Hart. The ball out on the middle of the field again. This is Finn Barrow again getting the ball into his hand. Striking the ball up inside. Patrick Finnegan side with Galloyd McCarthy. The ball bounces. Patrick is oh, well defended over there by Daniel Murphy. Coming to Mark Finnegan. Mark pulling. But Galloyd McCarthy inside trying to come out with the ball. Oh, he hits it across the own goal. Kevin Kennedy shoots. The ball is blocked. Flicked away by uh, the defender over there for Ballinus Spittle. It was Daniel Murphy. Well cleared. Coming out and pulling. First time hurling on the ground. Try to be flicked over there. Number 12 back there, Billy O'Day. Ball coming out to number six there. Number six is uh, Barry Hayes. Barry Hayes for Ballinus Spittle is half hoofed. Going over there is Dylan Murphy. Dylan pulls a low shot in along the ground. But goalkeeper Ronan O'Driscoll. Quite happy to see that one go to the right hand side of the uprights. Go wide. An all action staff to this Division 2 hurling final. Coachford lead. One point to no score. Driving the ball down the field over there was Daniel Murphy. Down the far wing. Coachford the half back line playing very well. Tony O'Flynn getting the ball further up the field. Out comes the corner back again. Nicely flicked away by Daniel. Flick it out there to Barry Hayes. Getting the ball. Not a greatish clearance. But nonetheless getting it up the field to uh, Oin O'Mani. Oin. Striking the ball, well blocked down by Finn Barrow Sullivan and Rory McSwaney. But it's coming up, still up the field. Kenneth Hogan pulling on his left hand side. Coming out to the wing here. Coming out to the wing is picked up by Kevin Quinn. Kevin getting the ball in his hand, being chased by Edmund Roach. He's looking around. No, that's not Kevin Quinn, sorry. That's, uh, yes, it is Kevin Quinn. Kevin well blocked down, but he still gets his clock in. Try to get the ball across there. Ball is over there. It's pulled right across the goal. Goes to the right hand side of the upright. Goes wide. Number of switches having occurred already on both sides. Richard Crowley, the goalkeeper for Coachford, driving the ball out here to us, Finn Barrow Sullivan. Finn Barrow, be well blocked there by Barry Hart, or David Hart rather. Driving the ball up the wing though. John Murphy puts his hand up, doesn't get it. Across comes Daniel Murphy. Daniel, nice turn, but he's half blocked. It's still in there to be won. Gets the ball out to uh, number six there, Barry Hayes. Barry driving the ball down along the wing. Comes to number eight, David Hart. And first time holding by Dallas Pitchel, doing very, very well. Richard Crowley lets the ball into his hand. Doing a bit of a solo run and clearing the ball out the wing. Kenneth Hogan trying to flick the ball on. Blocked forward by, uh, is that uh, John Hipwell there, I think, the captain, yes? Getting the ball out. Well pulled on there by number 13. Number 13, Gavin Maloney. Getting the ball in. This could be a dangerous ball. It's number six, ball right across the goal. He's got a chance. He shoots. Oh, but the ball goes wide, and it was a great, great chance there for Valdez Spittle to open their account. Richard Crowley in goals said he thought he knew what he was doing. The ball went wide, so Richard is proven right. And now we have the Edmund Roach with the puck out. Edmund driving the ball up around the middle of the field again. Back goes David Hart, blocking the ball forward. Pulled down over there by Finn Barrow Sullivan, driving the ball up the wing, wing, the wing. Flicked inside to Patrick Finnegan. Getting the ball in his hurley, going in a solo run across the field, being chased by a number of killed Ballas Little players. He strikes it, and it again goes to the right hand side of the upright, and the ball goes wide. Well, after about five minutes of this game, it's still coach for one point, Ballas Little no score, but a great end to end action. Pucking out over there, Garoid McCarthy. Driving around in the middle of the field, David Hart trying to flick it on John Hipwell. The ball is flicked on well, Cassidy has Owen Kennedy racing out there. Being chased there, trying to get the ball out. 
It's on the ground, Edmund Roach, Tony O'Flynn gets it half there. Finn Darrell Sullivan tries to get it fully clear. Ball still on the ground, being chased over there by uh, Gavin Maloney, I think. Finn Darrell pulls the ball up along the ground. Kevin Kennedy keeps it going. Back over there, Barry Hayes, Daniel Nine, and David O'Driscoll for Dallas Biddle defending well. Dylan Murphy trying to get this ball in. Cleared up along the wing again, all alone. Is the Ballinus Spittle player trying to carry on up the field? He's going up along the line. Being chased, I think, by Rory. I think that was possibly Owen O'Mahony. But the ball gone out over the line. Line ball for. Was it knocked off the Ballinus Spittle player, sorry, or did he knock it out himself? It seems he knocked it out himself. So it'll be a line ball for Coachford. Tindar O'Sullivan. Winding up. Cutting the ball. Half blocked there in the middle of the field. And forward comes uh, David Hart. David pulling, being tackled by John Murphy, I think that is for Coulter, yes. Driving the ball along the ground, Tony O'Flynn, one hand in the hurley, doesn't come up. Still there on the ground, John Hipwell trying to make life off for him. The ball is pulled inside, Oin Kennedy, oh that's beautiful skill by Oin. Just flicked it up and cleared it around the wing. Gets it to Patrick Finnegan. Patrick getting the ball in his hand, going to solo run, being chased over there by David O'Driscoll. There's about four different players coming to him. But it's well cleared down the wing there by Barry Hayes. Finn Bar oh, or, uh, Tony O'Flynn doesn't get the ball. He's at Patrick Murphy, a nice little pick up and clears it out the wing. Rory doesn't get his hurley to it. Gavin, is this Gavin going a bit of a solo run up the far wing? Or is it Oshin Gately driving the ball down? Pulled down over there by Finn Barrow Sullivan driving the ball down along the line. Going very close to the sideline. Very, very close to the sideline. No, not gone yet. Van Spittle trying to defend. Drives the ball out. This is uh, Rory, I think, trying to get the ball forward. But Owen O'Mahony trying to get the ball forward too for Ballas Little. Great hooking and blocking by both sides in this case. John Murphy gets the ball into his hand, drives it towards the defenders. Got number four over there, David O'Driscoll defending with Dylan Murphy. Bit of a scrum developing. Kevin Kennedy came to lend a hand. Dylan trying to get the ball across. Can he get it across? No, it's coming out, it seems. John getting his hurley to it. Nice pick up by Patrick Finnegan in the middle of a crowd. He's gone right through the middle of the goal. This could be a goal. Ooh. And I think the way he swung his hurley at the goal, he meant to go for a goal, but the ball rolls over the bar, and Ronan O'Driscoll was quite happy to see that one go. The free John Harrington telling Geroy McCarthy to go back a little bit. Driving the ball up the field in a mighty puck. Ball dropping down on the middle field. Edmund Rose gets a hurley away from Billy, uh, from uh, David, Kevin Quinn. Ball still on the ground. Outcoming Patrick, Mar Patrick Harrington. The ball developing into a stalemate situation. Uh, Joel Harrington says that's a foul on one of the Coachford lads. It will be free to Coachford. Here's Ballas at the aid of the breeze in this first half. Nine minutes gone. Finbar O'Sullivan driving it up towards Patrick Finnegan. Blocked forward by Garoy McCarthy. Added two over there, and here comes David Hart from Dallas Little. David doing a bit of a dummy, driving the ball down the wing. Patrick Harrington running out and getting the ball in his hand, the first for the ball. Like any good defender. Well blocked down again, and Coach for doing some great blocking and hooking. Dylan Murphy, can he turn now? David O'Driscoll, I think, trying to get back. Ball along the ground. Garoy McCarthy trying to get in them, hitting the ball. Over Kevin Kennedy. Oh, lovely pull. Could have been dangerous. Max Finnegan was waiting to pounce, but well defended there by Daniel Nine. David O'Driscoll. Combination. Still in the ground over there on the far side of the field. Down the wing it goes. Out towards Owen O'Mahony in the middle of the field. Owen. A nice turn and a big shot down the field. Patrick Harrington. Trying to get the ball in. He does get it in. Owen Kennedy doesn't quite get his hurley to it. Edmund Roach does. Edmund tipping the ball in his hurley. And striking the ball well up the field again. Out goes uh, John Murphy. John being tackled. Pulled on by David Hart. Out the wing it goes. Edmund Roach. Nice collection almost. Hoop well there by the Dallas Little players. Number 13 there was uh, Gavin Maloney. Gavin Mo Maloney didn't quite succeed though. And Dallas Little playing quite well. Getting first to the ball there in defence. On the ground it goes. That's John Hipwell I think the captain. Yeah. Clash of the ash. Gavin Maloney trying to get a hand on it. Tony O'Flynn booted on. And here comes Dallas Spittle. Is that Owen O'Mahony again? Owen turning around and strikes the ball in. Patrick Harrison did, did enough to block it and does very well to come out with the ball. Does very well. With the tackle there. The ball out towards Tony O'Flynn. 
Tony Oslin doesn't get it the first time. Tips away from him. Hurley's up in the air, ready to pull. Tony Oslin does get it the second time. Puts it on his Hurley. What can he do now? No. He drops it. And goes to the ground is John Hipwell. Flicked away to David Hart. David O'Driscoll. It's very, very tight. No chance for any fancy stuff or anything like that at the moment. It's very, very close. John Murphy. John doesn't hit it. He does the second time. Patrick Finnegan. Well pulled down in the air first time. Back it goes off Tony Oslin's Hurley. Good defence there by number two, Garoy McCarthy. Number five coming out to take that is Daniel Nyan. Daniel, a lowish kind of a one. Finbar Sullivan gets to it first. Trying to get the ball in time. David Hart pulling. Daniel going back for it. Getting the ball now. Hoop, not hoop. Oh, nice pick up there on the corner by uh, number 12 there. Number 12 is uh, Kevin Quinn. It's a lovely ball across. There's a player all alone. This is David Oinomani. The coach of defence. Recover well. Inside. It's, it's brilliantly saved. And a 65 by... Oh, it's a brilliant save by Richard Crowley. Brilliant, brilliant save. Was that Oshin in there? Oshin Gately possibly in there. Difficult to see his number. Uh, a great chance of a shot. And a, what a brilliant save by Richard Crowley. Great courage to come out and make the save. But nonetheless, it will be. Free in for Alice Pittal. Number 12, Kevin Quinn will take it. Kevin, hoping to put register... Dallas Biddle's first score after about 12 minutes of play. Two points to no score. Very tight. Kevin lifting. That won't be a score directly anyway, unless it goes in. It's again a, off. Uh, it's a 65, I think. Yeah, I think the, the umpire was probably unsighted. But referee Jared Harrington, as always, up with the play. And that will be another 65 for Dallas Biddle. Kevin hoping, I'm sure, to maybe strike the next one slightly better. Bring the ball down. Looking at the post. Bending, lifting, striking. Again, a lowish start of a one. In towards Oino Mani. Oin striking the ball in towards the goal. But the ball goes to the left hand side of the upright and going wide. The score. Coach for two points. Baldus Fittle, no score. Richard Crowley, the man who made the great save there just a minute ago. Driving the ball out. Oh, it's a brilliant block forward there by Barry Hayes. Ball flicked inside again. A shot coming in. And a beautiful score. A beautiful score there for Valdez Fittle. Was that uh, maybe Billy O'Day, I think, possibly over there having the shot? Number 10, sorry it wasn't, John Hipwell. It was striking the ball over the bar. Coach would have made a slight change. They brought Patrick Finnegan out, being followed by Garoy McCarthy. Patrick Finnegan getting the ball in his hurley, tipping it once, and striking the ball across the field. Dylan and Murphy trying to win the ball. Well, Valdez Fittle are after getting a great start. There after coming into the game, but Tony O'Flynn says, I'll have enough of that. Drives the ball forward, goes very, very close to the line. Not gone. Off the defenders hardly. Not gone yet either. Coach for putting him under pressure. Oh, Davis got him a ball with people like Kevin Kennedy hanging around. But Daniel Nyan getting the ball out to David Hart and Valdis Bittler. Well tackled by Findar O'Sullivan. Findar getting the ball into his hand. Well blocked down though by the uh, Valdis Bittler defenders. Driving the ball out to the far side. Oh, Kevin Kennedy has a bit of a chance here to get the ball in his hand. He does. Drives it in along the ground. Dylan doesn't quite get the, the ball there for Coachford. But I tell you who does get there, Daniel Nyan. And it's a mighty ball up the field. Owen Kennedy doing very well to get in first and just flick the ball away. Patrick Finnegan getting the ball into his hand. Going on a bit of a solo run. Being tackled by number four, David O'Driscoll. Patrick turning on his left. Dropping a beauty in. Mark Finnegan gets the ball into his hand. He takes on a turn. He's well blocked. He shoots. It's on the ground. The ball is on the ground. Dylan trying to get in. Well saved by the defence. And well saved by the Dallas Pitten defenders. For Edmund Roach. No time for breath in this game. Uh, Oin, uh, that's Oin O'Mani, I think. Getting the ball forward there. John Hipwell. Oh, trying to get the ball out. A bit of a, a missed shot, but he'll have a chance to hit it again. David Hart down the wing. Well blocked by Patrick Harrington. Trying to get the ball out. He does get the ball out. Pulled along the ground. Here comes Ballas Pitley again. All action match at the moment. 
the ball going in, flicked inside, Richard Crowley to save the day again for Falkirk, oh Richard left the ball behind him, it's along the ground, oh Kennedy's over there, ooh but it's flicked off the hurley of the Ballinspittle attacker and went just went wide, Whew. some mighty close action to the goal mouth there, Edmund Roach and Richard Crowley obviously deciding that uh, it's a bit close for comfort as Tony O'Flynn fixes his boot out the field. Edmund Roach considers pucking the ball out, which he does. Looks for Patrick sitting in again. The ball is not forward. Patrick going forward to get it again. Nice turn. Getting away from uh, David O'Driscoll and gets the ball forward. Bouncing in front again. Flicked up in the air. Batted forward. Here comes uh, Rory McFiney. Rory doesn't get the ball in. Oh, nearly left behind over there, but well picked up. And great. Oh, not a, Rory trying to get the ball in. A pull there from David Hart. Patrick Finnegan gets the ball into his hand. Trying to turn. Get room to strike. It's a low one in along the ground to Mark Finnegan. Ball is still on the ground inside. Mark was the lad who made a great catch there. This is John Murphy. It could be a score. A poor shot from John. He'll be disappointed with that shot. And the ball goes to the right hand side of the upright. Ball is spittle one point. Coach for two points. Nothing between the teams. A goal could be very, very important here. Good puck out there. Long ball is for Podrick Harrington. Podrick playing very well there in cornerback position. Doing a lot of blocking. Being tackled by uh, John Hipwell, the captain for Dallas Mittal. Ball goes to ground. Ball in along the ground. Oh, a nice turn. There's Solomon in towards the goal. Coach will get back to tackle. Oink. Edmund Roach tries to pick it. The ball goes off the hurley of the uh, Dallas Mittal attacker. And the ball goes wide. Very much an even Stephen game. I think the first goal could be absolutely crucial here. If there is to be a goal. Edmund Roach driving the ball down the middle. The obvious ploy is to look for Patrick Finnegan. The obvious ploy is quite well working. Because Patrick is going in a bit of a run. And, but no nonsense. Ball is fitting defending. Nice pick up by David Hart. And a nice clearance. John Hipwell tries to flick it on. Getting the ball forward. The ball goes to ground. Well coming out there. Finbar O'Sullivan. In there, shortening the grip and clearing the ball beautifully. Patrick Finnegan adding to it. Mark Finnegan, a cousin of his, getting the ball forward again. Getting the ball across. This is Dylan with a beautiful rob. Oh, a super steal there on Dylan. Number of. That's David Hart driving the ball up the wing. Yeah, David getting the ball inside to John Hipwell. Now, what can happen here? Owen Kennedy came across. Owen Kennedy does very well. He kicks the ball forward. Does uh, John Hipwell, Owen Kennedy, the ball goes in towards the goal. Great save, Richard Crowell. And it's got over the bar from the rebound. Is that Oshin Gaitu, the left handed striker over there, to level the match? But certainly, Richard Crowley is having a great game in goals for Coachford. Draw a match. Patrick Finningham, the target man again, gets the ball again. Here come the Ballast Middle fellas to try and throw them out. Well blocked over there by Garroy McCarthy and Ballas Mittal. John uh, in towards the goal. Got inside by Mark Finnegan. Ball down to ground. It could go anywhere. Off the goalkeeper. Ronan O'Driscoll not taking any chances. Ball gone out for a 65. Could this be Coachford's chance to take the lead? Two points each. Coachford haven't scored for a a good period of time and Ballinus Pitt have got the last two scores. A very, very even Stephen game. This is Patrick Finnegan, Iberade on his back. Patrick bending. A big strike, a big hit, and a big score for Coachford. Patrick, I think, has got all three scores for Coachford as they take the lead once more by a point, the narrowest of margins. Garoid McCarthy with the puck out. Driving the ball down the middle of the field. Finbar O'Sullivan doesn't quite get it. Owen Kennedy puts up his hand, doesn't get it either. Ball goes to ground. Over there is uh, Patrick Harrington trying to bring it out. And doing very well to hit the ball up along the wing. John Murphy, uh, uh, referee Ger Harrington, calls for the ball. And that will be half-time in this Division 2 hurling final. A tight, tough, tense, close match. With Coachford leading at the break. By Coachford, three points. Ballinus Fittle, two points. We're ready for the start of the second half. 
Coachford playing from left to right. Dallas Fiddle trailing by a point. The ball is in the game. Is on. I see Finn Barrow Sullivan back out to midfield. Kevin Kennedy, I think probably was trying to pull in the ball, but uh, number seven there for Oino Manny, I think it was for uh, Bell Spittle. Got his hurley down first, and Kevin in the top. Ball driven up the field by David Hart. Dropping it in around the square. John Hipple coming out to meet it, but blocked away there by uh, John Murphy, I think. Down along the wing it goes. Flicked forward there by David O'Driscoll. I see uh, there's been a bit of a switch around in the coach for the half forward line, too. Uh, Patrick Vanille's gone back into full forward, and Mark is back out in the wing. Well hooked there by, uh, is that uh, Kenneth Hogan got in the hoop? Finn Barrow Sullivan going back to get it, driving the ball down along the wing. Kevin Kennedy tackling over there with Oino Manny, number seven there for uh, Dallas Spittle. Da David Nyan trying to get the ball forward. Finn Barrow Sullivan, Ivera Hawks on his back, driving the ball in. Oh, it could be dangerous. It's blocked up by Patrick Finnegan, it's got to get by Ronan O'Driscoll. Ronan, oh! Patrick did ever so well to get in the two blocks and hoops. But when he struck the ball, he was just outside the goal, and the ball went wide. A mighty puck out up the middle of the field, coming well out towards Mark, Mark Finnegan's wing, but blocked over there well by David O'Driscoll. Ball going to ground, a lot of ground hurling. Rory McSweeney getting his hurley in there. Bit of a stalemate developing. Well pulled down over there, and pulled down along the ground and up along the wing again. This is John Hipwell. Finbar, or Tony O'Flynn going to ground. Finbar Sullivan trying to get back. John getting the ball in towards the goals. It's got into Barry Hayes. Barry getting the ball into his hurley. A shot and a great score from Barry Hayes to level up the match again. The Ballas Fittle supporters delighted with that score. As after about a minute's play in the second half, the ball going over the bar, the scores are level. Richard Crowley pucking the ball out. A mighty puck out. It's gone inside. This is Kevin Kennedy all on his own. What's he going to do? Make sure of the pickup and make sure of the strike. Oh, no man, he got a cross there. And Dallas Little just coming into the game. But Kevin Kennedy does brilliantly. Kevin Kennedy does really well. Coming out to the centre back there, Daniel Nyan. Oh, Daniel, I'm not sure he'd be too happy with the clearance, but it might work out okay for them yet. Ball going to ground, pulled on out along the wing over there. Number 12, Kevin Quinn. But he's beaten to the pull by Kenneth Hogan. Dylan driving the ball in towards the goals again. Out. And this is Daniel Nyan bursting out. And does very well. Great blocking. This is Finda, the captain. But driving the ball to the left of the upright and driving the ball wide. It's anyone's game here. Anybody's game. Baldus Little, three points. Coach for three points. And both supporters, sets of supporters now getting behind their team. As the ball is driven out there by Garroyd McCarthy. Garroyd hits a great puck out the wing. Well blocked by Edmund Roach. Pulled on over there by Kevin, well kicked on rather by Kevin Quinn. Tony O'Flynn does very well, but he's blocked as well. And this is Barry Hayes, John Hipwell, the captain of the centre half forward. Stalemate developing, pulled on over there on the coach of defence, get it away. David O'Driscoll going back. Bar uh, Mark Finnegan trying to get the ball forward, but he won't because it's belted up there by Kenneth Hogan. Out comes uh, the ball going to ground again. This is uh, Daniel Nyan, the clash of the ash. Finn Barrow Sullivan picking up the break. Well hooped there. That's brilliantly hooped by David Hart. Finn Barr says, OK, give me the ball now, going to Sullivan. Lovely skill. Bounces it over it. Flicks forward again. Kevin Kennedy trying to get the ball up there. That's a beautiful clearance out the far wing to Kevin Quinn. Edmund Rose bursting forward, gets to the ball first. Tony O'Flynn trying to get this one forward again. John Hipwell trying to make life difficult. He makes it awful difficult. But it's very well done by Tony O'Flynn getting the ball to Kevin Kennedy. Kevin, that's the ball. Up along the ground. And the ball goes to the right hand side of the upright. Gets it beyond David. Half the ball goes wide. Anybody's game? Anybody's game. About three minutes gone in the second half. It's the, a level score game. As I said, I think in the first half, the first goal is going to be absolutely vital. Ball down the middle of the field. Pulled on over there by Rory McSweeney. Dylan getting the ball into his hand. No. Intercepted there by uh, David O'Driscoll. Pulled on inside again. And cleared out the wing. Getting the ball there to uh, Daniel Nyan. And Daniel doing very well. Dallas Spittle playing nice hurling around the back. But uh, uh, Coachford's half-back line playing very well as well. Tony O'Flynn trying to make the ball go forward. But it won't. Because it's pulled on the ground. This is Barry Hayes. Barry Hayes has got the ball in his hurling. He's, he's still got the ball. He's no catch left. He's got inside. Patrick Harrison gets across. 
and Hardrick does very, very well. Richard Crowley obviously marshalling his defence well. No fees as Joe Harrington. Back inside by John Hipwell. Blocked by Tony O'Flynn. Out it goes. Very, very close to the end line. It's still very close to the end line. The ball on the ground. The umpire keeping a careful eye on it. Gets the ball across. Now, what's going to happen here? A bit of a discussion among the Ballaspital players, it seems. The half block down there. Is that John Murphy getting in the block? Edmund Roach getting it further out the field. Over there it goes. Driven up the field there by Edmund Roach. Very well cleared. Rory McSwiney trying to get in the tackle. Here come Ballas Fittle again. Ball over, play over the far side of the field. A bit of a pull. A bit of, it's gone inside. Is that Barry Quinn? Is Kevin Quinn, rather. Kevin Quinn doesn't quite get it forward. Coach for defending well. Anybody's game at the moment. Stalemate around the middle of the field. Bit like the game itself. Stalemate in general. This is John Hipwell. John trying to get a pull in the ball. Hardwick Harrington is over there again. But it comes out here to uh, David Hart. David, a beautiful strike. Oh, in Kennedy. What a catch. Plucking the ball out of the air. Driving it up the field to Tony O'Flynn. Tony driving the ball further along. Patrick, Patrick Finnegan. And here goes Patrick. He's got a run on goal. John Lloyd McCarthy. I know no man is chasing him. Patrick, nice skill. He's still going. He's got the ball in his hurley. He's got the ball. It's, it's off his hurley. Trying to get the ball up again. Getting the ball into his hands. Turning around. Shooting. The ball going across the goal. And unfortunately for Patrick, after all the hard work, the ball goes wide. Good defence by the Ballinus Little players. Patrick showing a lot of skill, but good defence nonetheless by the Ballinus Little defenders, and they prevented him from scoring. Here go Ballinus Little again. What's going to happen? The next score could be absolutely vital. Kevin Quinn trying to get the ball into his hand. Goes back there. David O'Driscoll. What a flick by John Murphy. Ball to the ground. Hold on, and the ball is going up the far wing. This is Kevin Quinn again. A lot of picking, but there isn't too much room. Kenneth Hogan going back there. This is Kev Bar uh, Kevin Quinn. Now, getting the ball across. Owen oh, Kennedy is like, is like uh, Shawnee McMahon and Claire, the way he can catch the ball out of the air. Owen O'Mahony is another Owen. And Owen going on a bit of a solo run. Chased by Rory McSweeney and Kevin Kennedy. Ball on the ground. Finn Dowdy is O'Sullivan does well together. Getting the ball in. Patrick Harrington. It must be said that the two green helmets for Coachford are playing very well. Patrick, the ball goes to the ground. Pulled down to the ground. Blocked again. Rory McSwiney getting the ball forward. Out here comes uh, number two there, Galloway McCarthy. Pulling on the ball. And nice ball up into the corner. Number ten is John. And Patrick gets the pull in first. Very, very close to the line. Not gone. Tony O'Flynn. Nice clearance from Tony. Not quite cut there by Daniel Nine as Rory gets the ball further up along the wing. This is the danger man, Patrick Finnegan. Nice turn. Oh, well blocked again by David O'Driscoll. The ball has gone to ground again. Patrick Finnegan trying to get his hurley going. He does. Drives the ball up along the wing. Kevin Kennedy racing for this one. Goes very, very close to the end line. It's gone over the end line. And after about seven minutes of the second half. The scores remain level, three points each. It's awfully, awfully tight here. The mighty puck out will bounce. And oh, John Hipwell does the simple thing, does uh, Kenneth Hogan. Keeps the ball moving. Pulled up along the wing. Pulled on over there by Finbar O'Sullivan, the captain of Coachford. Finbar protecting the ball well. Gets the ball into his hand. Well done to strike it up the field. Kevin, and this is Patrick. Now, what can he do? A nice bit of holding. Getting the ball. He's got the ball. Shooting. No. It's the goal. A goal for Coachford. A goal for Coachford. Is that goal going to be very significant? Patrick Finnegan struck the ball to the back of the net. There was nothing wrong in O'Driscoll. But he gets the ball to Barry Quinn. Kevin Quinn, rather. I keep calling him Barry Quinn. Or Gavin Maloney, rather. Lovely holding by Gavin. Short in the grip. Gets the ball inside. There's a man all alone inside. It's Barry Hayes. What's he going to do? It's well cleared by Edmund Rose. Kevin Quinn striking. Ball going in. Oh, what a save. Brilliant save. It's John Hipwell. It's pulled by Barry Hayes. 
It's still in the ground. Richard Crowley, the man of the century, the man of the decade for Coltsford at the moment. He's after making some great, great saves. He's out near the sideline. The ball going out over the line. Well played. The coach for defence and goalkeeper playing absolutely superbly at the moment. It's not over yet. About halfway through the second half, there's only a goal in it. A beautiful cut and a beautiful catch and a beautiful strike. It's inside. What a goal! What a goal! A doubler! A doubler overhead! Was that the man we were talking about? Barry Hayes! I think it was! John Hipwell and Barry Hayes were in together. The scores are level! And whatever Coachford can do at one end, Ballas Little can do at the other end. Great flick up the wing by John Murphy. And now we've got a game. And the ball comes out to Patrick Finnegan. Patrick going in a bit of a solo run. Going across the field. He's still going. Drops the ball down for a nice hop. Hot by, dropped by Mark Finnegan now. And this is Daniel Nyan. And he does the sensible thing. And he gets the ball up the field. Got the ball by Gavin Maloney. Brandon Spittler are in. Tony O'Flynn. A great shot in. Oh, very, very unlucky for Tony. Drove the ball in. And Tony coming from a long line of great hurlers. The O'Flynn's of Aero. His dad, Dennis O'Flynn, was a great hurler too for Aero. Nice little short puck out. Lovely, clever hurling. Keeping away. Up goes the ball. The ball is gone inside. John Hipwell. It's Kevin Quinn. Kevin trying to get the ball forward. Patrick Harrington. Another man. To make some great saves. And great defence for the Coachford lads. Knocks the ball up the field. But it goes out over the line. Good clearance. But it deflected off a of hurley. Out over the line. About 12 and a half. Uh, 11 and a half minutes gone in the second half. The scores are level. Another goal for either side could be even more crucial than the last one. A lovely turn. Trying to go forward is Kevin Quinn. Hand passes the ball out. Pulled on across the field. Now, Gary Hayes and Mark Finnegan. Oino Manny. Tim Darrow Sullivan. Going back. And there's a foul on uh, Tim Darrow Sullivan by, I think it was Barry. Finbar uh, doesn't pick it the first time. <laughs> tried to pick it the second time but referee Joe Harrington say, oh, saw the uh, infringement and that will be uh, I think a throw in ball between or is it a free in for no yeah it's a throw in ball that's correct the correct decision between uh, John Hipwell I think the captain and the other captain Finbar Finbar does very well he does very well gets the ball out oh no man the ball bounces over his shoulder out comes uh, number two there, Garoid McCarthy. Nice flick inside by Kevin Kennedy. But who's to pick it up? Only number six there, number six, Barry Hayes. Gets the ball forward. The ball going to ground. And here comes Baldus Fittle again. Cody Harrington doesn't quite get it. He does get it. Ball out to the far wing. A clash in the ash. And Kenneth Hogan getting the ball down along the ground. What's going to happen here? What's gonna, well done again by Kenneth. Does the simple thing right, block the ball, but a great pull by Owen O'Manny. Edmund Roach, Findar O'Sullivan, Findar O'Sullivan, Findar O'Sullivan playing the captain's role. Nicely played by Gary McCarthy. Getting the ball out there. Getting the ball there to number five, Daniel Nyan. Daniel getting the ball out to the far wing. Going over there, I think, is uh, Owen Kennedy. And Owen does the sensible thing and pulling the ball up along the ground. Here come Coachford. Getting the ball up along the wing over there is John Murphy. John gets the ball into the corner. Over there, Daniel Murphy and Geroy McCarthy. Well cleared. Up along the wing. Half defended. Patrick Finnegan trying to make himself bothersome for the Ballinus Fittle forward. Getting the ball in along the ground. The ball going to ground again. And referee John Harrington blows the whistle. There's anything could happen yet in this game. The score, coach for a goal and three points. Ballinus Bittle, a goal and three points. Who's going to get the next score? Gets the ball across. Bounces in five. Ballinus Bittle coming out in the solo run. Is this uh, Gerard McCarthy? It is. What a run. What a run. He's still going. He's still going. And he pucks the ball right in along the ground. It seems that Finn O'Sullivan has gone back. And a mighty puck by Finn 
Patrick Finnegan, the guy bounces over the head. A flick. Oh, what a brilliant save. And a brilliant bit of holding by Dallas Bitter. Brilliant bit of holding by Ronan O'Driscoll. He just got there before Patrick Finnegan. It's such a great game. It's a great, great, exciting game. What's going to happen now? The ball being tossed and far around the middle of the field again. Coachford in the body of Rory McSwiney gets the ball forward. And a free. That could be very dangerous. What a block by Owen Kennedy. What a block. Patrick Harrington getting the ball up the field. Mark Finnegan tries to pull in it. Taken away by Owen O'Mahony. Owen pulls in the ball up along the wing. Kenneth Hogan is blocked. That clash in the axe. Out over the line with Davin Maloney and Kenneth Hogan. Nothing illegal. The boat player went bald headed, as they say, for the ball. The ball went out over the line. It's so difficult to pick out the best player on the pitch because so many players are playing well for both teams. Podrick uh, tops it in it and a kick forward. Now, what's going to happen here? Findar, Findar has gone back into the full back line and he is playing a Herculean game. The ball bounces into Dylan. Dylan gets the ball to Patrick. Is this the lead for Coach Fur? It's dropping well. The ball still dropped out. And out come the Valnes little defenders again. Maybe doing a little bit too much soloing, but doing well. Block forward. Patrick Finnegan. The ball has gone to the ground. About 15 minutes. Is this the lead for Coach Fur? He strikes. Up. High it goes. It's gone to the left hand side of the upright. The ball has gone wide. They've had a number of drawn matches in this game, in this championship this year, in the Guinness Gull 1999 Guinness Gull Hurling Championship. Blocked forward by Kenneth Hogan. Rory getting the ball forward to John Murphy. Back goes Dylan, trying to make a tackle, but it's cleared away up the field. Coachford have a couple of players waiting for it. One of them is Patrick Harrington, one of them is Tony O'Flynn. Drives it in well. The ball goes through all the attackers and goes wide. About 17 minutes, about four, or five, four minutes left in the game. Of course, there could be some extra time. Driven out. Oh, not the greatest. Kevin Kennedy does very well to block it. He pulls. Now, is this a chance? On the ground it is. The ball is off Kevin again. Well cleared. This is Rory. Rory obviously deciding to no nonsense hurling, but Owen Kennedy, or Owen uh, O'Mani rather, not a great clearance. Is this Daroid McCarthy, the man of the solo run? He's the ball is knocked off his holly by John Murphy, but he does get the ball out to number four, David O'Driscoll. Here comes Kill uh, Valdis Bittle, trying to get the ball up the field. Nice flick, but the, uh, the back line of Coachford is playing very, very well. Tindar O'Sullivan being one of those back. Daniel Nine flicking it forward, getting the ball into his hand. Oh, this could be dangerous. Richard to early lets the ball go over his head, and the ball goes wide. Richard, he's playing such a great game. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. The scores are level. Richard pocking the ball out. Podrick knocks it back. Findar Sullivan, nice hurling and well cleared. He's playing an Herculean game. Oi Kennedy, is this going to be the one? He's, he's half hoop. He pulls it well across the path of Finnegan. This could be the lead. Is it? It is! The lead for Coachford. The lead for Coachford. Patrick Finnegan gets the ball over the bar. Gets the ball over the bar. And now there's her only about two minutes to go. It could be that Valdis Bittle need to score, but they seem to be after. The Coachford back seem to be after getting on top. Well blocked forward. The clash of the ash with Rory McSwiney over there. And uh, uh, Daniel Nyan, Owen O'Mahony, David Hart. It's a free, free out. And certainly since Findar O'Sullivan has gone back into the back line, things have improved immensely. Edmund Roach driving the ball down the field. Here we go again. Patrick Finnegan. Let's the ball over his head. Dylan has gone in with the ball. It appears, but great defense. Patrick Finnegan trying to get through. Kicks it. Good save by the goalkeeper again. Great save by Ronan O'Driscoll. And well cleared. It would. The clash of the ash again over there. 
Rory McSwiney is fouled and it's a free in for Coachford and this could be a two point lead for Coachford we're coming up very close to the end of the game Patrick Finnegan bending looking at the post bending hits the ball but hits it to the right hand side of the upright and the ball goes wide is there time for a balanced fit and equaliser it's 1-4 to 1-3 a mighty puck out yes there is way up the field it bounces over the heads of the backs and forwards the ball is on the ground pulled along the ground Coachford players one of them being Patrick Harrington flicking the ball away on the ground and he does very well and Patrick Harrington blows the has the last puck of the game for Coachford and the game ends in a great victory for Coachford Coachford a goal and three points Bal Co sorry Coachford a goal and four points Ballinus Bittle a goal and three very tough look and a great great Ballinus Bittle team but Coachford got the vital score and about 35 seconds from the end of the game Patrick Harrington won the ball and that was that as they say so Cogardigus Le Coachford and Cogrone Le Ballinespital a great great game a pity one team had to lose but again Coachford played very very well in a great match